yeah. I think store bought guacamole is nasty. These taste a little burnt. Here's the problem. Oh, I didn't see you there. Oh, Welcome to the Kitchen and Jorn Show. That's Kitchen, I'm Jorn. Oh, wait, sorry, you do it. No, you basically established the I nailed it. Yeah, yeah I'm the best. <laughs> Welcome to the Kitchen Jordan Show. Today we are doing another one of our cool Trader Joe's videos where we try every right. new Trader Joe item for October. October. Part one. Part one. Part of which one. there are, I believe, 13. 13. If we're wrong about that, you know, do something about it. I don't know. Come fight us. We might not find out about or it. Or come you, kiss you, us. You can do something about it. As per usual, we rank the foods on a scale of just okay, pretty good, really great, and if you absolutely suck, your penalty box bag. Bam, bam, bam. And then there's also the new uh, category, which is the fight, fight box. box. Fight box is when Jen and I don't agree, and like we don't feel like rock paper scissoring over it. I always feel like scissoring over my <laughs> arguments. Fight box is when we disagree on something. You understand it's not that complex. It's right? not. It's not. Yeah. Do your best. We won't be scissoring over. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, hopefully, this is more than thirty seconds into the video, so we will get demonetized. Anyway, should we start with the food that's here? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. All right. Teeny tiny apple pies. All right. These are the Trader Joe's teeny tiny apple pies. <sighs> I love a good crumble topping. Ooh, and there's the crust. The crust definitely is holding itself. To, there's a crust. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> These are actually delicious. I've had like apple pie type desserts from Trader Joe's before. And this is by far and away their best one. Holy bananas. These are delicious. Wow. Teeny tiny apple pies. You are amazing. Real These are really great. I mean, these are outstanding these are spectacular these are like do you just want like a little bit of apple pie i'm gonna go back and get more of these actually these are mine i'm keeping these mm -hmm. oh it's just so good i'm not gonna don't tell Bree they're good though because she'll want to eat some <laughs> she can have some the next item we are going to be trying is the shrimp and garlic flatbread it's with garlic butter bechamel sauce and parmesan cheese sounds pretty good here you go have these been deveined yeah just don't think about it yeah okay it's fine i'm just gonna have one bite I mean, it's fishy, right? If you don't like shrimp, if you really hate shrimp or seafood, you won't like this because it's a mild flavor, but it's still present, right? It's pretty mild for a shrimp flavored thing. You do get the garlic. The flatbread is a nice texture. Honestly, I think this is pretty tasty. I just love garlic and I do like shrimp, so it's right up my, my alley. My expectations were like honestly pretty low and I actually like this. Mm-hmm. Shrimp and garlic flatbread, pretty good. Pretty good. Wow, okay, good. one shrimp that got out of my mouth. Here's the problem. Many years ago, I used to order tons of little buffalo mini, mini popcorn shrimp at the bar I worked at. And one day I opened one up and I realized it hadn't been deveined. And then I was told that all shrimps that size will never be deveined because the machine destroys them that deveins. And so every time you eat little shrimps, you get a little bit of shrimp poop. And so from that moment on, I hated shrimp. But these actually look clean. So like, apparently that was a lie. I was told a lie. So this is the butternut squash Italian lasagna. Every year Trader Joe's tries to cram butternut squash into something where it doesn't belong. And I feel like this year it's lasagna. This year it's lasagna. And yeah. next year- Next year it might be your mom. Got him. Got him. Got him. And roasted their ass. <laughs> Ooh, it does. Okay, it smells good. It's still really hot, which is a good sign. Steamy. Okay, so this isn't lasagna. Yeah, this we is- We should just get that out of the way. Yeah. It's not lasagna, but it is tasty. And butternut squash is the main flavor. It is the main flavor. It's the star of the show. It's butternut squash, a little bit of cheese. But I'm going back for and more. And pasta. The fact that I'm going back for more should tell me that it's not just okay. Like, you don't go into this being like, oh, I'm gonna give me a little medium lasagna. Yeah. When, I, when I crave lasagna, I'm craving like the tomato sauce with the cheese and the meat. And like, this is just like cheesy layered pasta. pasta. This is a pasta squash casserole. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good, but it's not lasagna. The next item we are gonna be trying is the organic French demi baguettes. So these are just crisp and serve baguettes. Ooh, it's still warm. That's good. Thanks, mother. Do you want some butter? I mean, it'd be good with butter. This is good. Okay. It's good. This is really tasty. This is delicious! To be fair, we are eating ours when it's still warm. So that adds this element of tastiness, but mm. wow, what a, is the outside really crisped up. The inside is soft and pliable. This is a tasty baguette. This is good bread. Oh, it's good. It's really great. It's really great. You know ha what, this is good to know. When we used to have bread with like every meal. What? Was that just my house? What do you mean bread, like a baguette? Like a, yeah, like a roll of some kind. Yeah. I don't know, but this reminds me of that. That's nice. That's cute. I think that's sweet. It's a good baguette. Okay, I'm moving on to the next food. Okay. The next item we are gonna be trying are the 12 mini pumpkin ginger scones with crystallized ginger. And this is what they look like when they come out of the oven. This is one of the few items where they actually put the number that's in it in the title. They're like, it's like 12 angry scones. They are a little dry. The pumpkin flavor is nice. These are, they're a little dry, a little crumbly. 
I don't know if the juice is worth the squeeze on this. Yeah. If you like pumpkin and you love ginger, you'll probably really like these. But oh yeah, there are like little ginger bombs in there where it's just like ginger. Yeah, there's there's like little ginger bombs in there. So if you're really into those flavors, I think this would be great for you. Leave the scones to the professionals yeah. or yourself. Don't leave them to the semi-professionals. Either make them yourself or you know go to like a, a sconerarium. These are just okay. <laughs> these are just okay. The next item we're gonna try is the organic CD crackers with brown rice, quinoa, flax, and sesame seeds. I ate another one of those uh, teeny tiny apple pies. I don't have a teeny tiny problem with that, that's fine. <laughs> I don't care, eat what you want, baby. There's certainly, you can see all the seeds, so that's good, they are seedy. They're gluten-free, so I understand the value in them, but you know, they're better CD crackers. These taste a little burnt. Yeah. They're not good. Yeah, these take forever to chew. They're very seedy. It's kind of bland, and then you get a very strong sesame, burnt sesame flavor towards the end. There are better seedy crackers. Mary's Gone Crackers makes a great seedy cracker, which I really love. These are like kind of the burnt version of that. You know, I get these are cheaper, but like you will throw them out. So. <laughs> these are just, just okay. okay. Yeah, okay. They're just okay. So this is a new cheese that was on the Trader Joe's website. It's Orkney Scottish Island Cheddar, which is a white mature cheddar cheese. This cheese is, it's really oily. Oh, it is really oily. I love I love Scotland. We had fun there. We had a lot of fun. Have you been there besides with me that one time? Nope. Okay, anyway, look at the cheese. <laughs> I mean, no, I haven't. <gasps> Mmm, give me a cracker. I think this cheese is delicious. It is greasy, but it makes the crackers better. Yeah, but it's not the, it's not the cheese's job to make the crackers better. I know. Okay, you know, it's, oh, not, yeah. it's not the responsibility of the cheese. I actually think this is f***ing delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. It's I think really this is really great. It's really great. I think it's a little oily because it was sitting out for a while. Yeah. I think it's our I think it's user error. That's my fault. I should have put it in the fridge. Guaca salsa. So this is tomatilla salsa mixed into guacamole. So it's guaca salsa. I don't know about this one. Like, I like, obviously I like both of those things separately. I hate store-bought guacamole. I think store-bought guacamole is nasty. Yeah. And I think this will be no different. Texture-wise, it's a lot closer to a creamy avocado salsa than it is guacamole. That said, it's fine. So yeah, it's not bad. Like it has enough acid where it makes the fact that it's store-bought guacamole better, mm -hmm. but it's not like fun. Like I'm not having a good time. The guaca salsa, I think is, I think it's pretty good. And Chris, I think it's just okay. So it goes in the fight box. box. The fight box is so people don't yell at me anymore. Stop yelling at Kristen. I know, but we, they didn't. So now we have the fight box. Okay. <laughs> the next item we're gonna be trying is the chicken, cheese, and green chili pupusa. Oh, the three C's. Okay, so I like the way it crisped up. I wish the chilies were like a little more flavorful. It's kind of bland. It's a little bland. It's, it's bland. It's just cheesy and chickeny. Any, any salt? It's bland. I'm bland. I think any person uh, would eat this and be like, why is there this bland stuff in the middle of my hot savory cookie? This yeah. is just okay. This is just okay. And no, go away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just wish, yeah. It, I wish it were better. Can't you see we don't want you no more? The next thing we are trying is the apple cinnamon buns. This is crumb top Danish pastries with apple filling and cinnamon. I didn't realize that they were also cinnamon. I was just like more apple buns. Enough is enough. When will the media get the message? We're tired of apple out here. Ooh, boy, this is a, this is a lot of this pastry. This is a Danish. So I wish there was more apple filling in it. Me too. The apple filling is kind of concentrated to one little bit. Yeah. So most of the bite you get in this pastry is sort of the dough. And the cinnamon. And the cinnamon, which is good. I think my biggest note is that it needs more apple crumble filling. It mostly just tastes like a cinnamon bun without frosting, and then when you get to the center, you get the apple crumble, which is good, but it doesn't feel like a cohesive thing. It's sort of like, you know how when bad movies uh, really hype up the fact that they have a really famous person in them for mm -hmm. like five seconds? Yeah. That's, this is kind of like the box of a bad movie, and it's like, and also Jennifer Aniston is here! <laughs> I would say the apple cinnamon buns, they're just okay. Yeah, they're just okay. They're just okay. Okay. This is one of the new Trader Joe's pre-made salads. So this is the green goddess salad with blackened chicken thigh meat, crispy puffed rice, and a green goddess ranch dressing. I mean, it's it's, it's essentially, it's just like red cabbage, lettuce, you know chicken, what? carrots, you know what? and dressing. Well, I don't know why I'm being so like, so like. Yeah, just put as much dressing in there as you think we need to be alive, which <laughs> is a lot. <laughs> It's completely fine. It's not flavor, it's not like flavorful, it's not anything new, it's just chicken and lettuce. You're, if you know Green Goddess, it does taste like ranch with a little bit more spice to it. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally a, fine. It's a totally average salad. There's nothing about this that is like particularly interesting or that makes it stand out, but if I was hungry on a Tuesday and this is all I had in the fridge and it was like 1 p.m., you can bet your sweet behind I'd eat it. Again, this is just okay. The next item we are gonna be trying is, forgive my terrible Portuguese, Brigadeiros, fudgy bonbons with chocolate sprinkles. Okay, so these are supposed to be melt in your mouth, little chocolates. <laughs> 
you get that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're cute. They're so tiny. Here you go. Fudgy bonbon for you. Fudgy bonbon. Stop touching it. There Can you hand me paper towels? <laughs> Please. Look, I'm doing it. Stop talking to me. Hand <laughs> me paper towels. Please. Thank you. <laughs> now change my diaper. <laughs> Cleaning this. Are you are you coming along on this video or are you gonna go do a different video? Sorry. Oh. Is it good? I don't know. Well, <laughs> oh, these are very fudgy. They're very chocolatey. They're a little bit too rich for me to eat all at once. I'm I, I'm saying honestly, it tastes. I mean, yeah, it's a truffle, right? It tastes similar to a truffle. It's sort of a chewier truffle. It's a chewier truffle. It's a chewier truffle. I think they're really great. I think they're really great. I think they're really great. They're All right, great. cool. Bonbons! Bonbons. All right. right. Last food, last food. This is the mango blueberry chia bowl with coconut cream and passion fruit juice. I don't like chia bowls, and I'm not gonna say why until we eat it, because I think you're gonna be mad at me. Honestly? That's pretty good. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't really get, like, it's, it's very mango-y. Hmm. That's actually pretty tasty. It is very mango-y. But it's like the mango-y makes it not too sweet. Yeah. It's not tart either. It's like the perfect sweetness. Why don't you like chia bowls? They kind of look like fish eggs. They kind of just look like clumps of fish eggs. I was going to say it's sort of, it, the texture is similar to caviar. Roe. Yeah, it kind of looks like roe. Yeah. But that's what I will say. <laughs> if you don't have that problem, and if you really like mango, I think this is good. And you'll and you, get a you crap need fiber. Ton. You need fiber. You'll get a crap ton of fiber if you eat this. A little crap ton. Mm -hmm. I think this is pretty good. I think it's pretty good. I'm like still eating the mango bit. Yeah, too. you're still eating it. I like it. I think what my feeling is if ever we go back for a second bite, it's at least pretty good. Yeah. Thus ends part one of new Trader Joe's things for October. We're gonna do a part two. Because there were a lot of foods and some things we think we missed. We don't want to get tummy aches. That's why there's gonna be a part two. Because if we just, you know, it's like, we don't need to do that anymore. There used to be a time where you eat 30 things in one video and then we just be miserable. And it's like, why? New videos get released every Friday at noon Pacific Standard Time. Thank you so much for watching. We love you, and check us out next Friday. Boop, boop. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, Jen. Thanks, Kristen.